Hey guys, so today I am going to do the Jurassic Park motherhood tumbler. So I've already started on the cup. Um, I didn't want this video to be too long and I don't think you need to see me put down the glitter. So I've already done that and I've got a thin layer of epoxy on there. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this is going to be in like chunks of videos because there's so many different steps of drying and epoxy that just unnecessary to see you don't have to see it dry so we'll just start with the first part which will be the stencil so after you've got the glitter down the epoxy you want to get your stencil so the way you want it to go is all of this part needs to stay white because this is the part that you're going to spray paint over and it's going to leave the backing this part um, for you to see through this um, so we want to make sure you're doing it the right way um, so let's go ahead and just place it where we want it I'm just gonna put mine right here I think make sure it's even this is the hardest part when you're putting things on like a curved surface it's making sure it's even it's always the hardest part but you know once you got it down it's down especially when there's like a lot of pieces hate to keep pulling it up let me just see if it's good enough to me it looks pretty even but I'm sure somewhere it's slanted Okay, so it's the first part. And you know the one bad thing about this whole tumbler? So you're wasting a lot of glitter. This whole cup is about to get spray painted over. So you're wasting literally all of this glitter. Good thing it wasn't like my good expensive glitter. This was just Michael's brand glitter. Not that that's bad glitter. Just saying, you know, it's not from like a a shop, Etsy shop or anything like that. It's not my good glitterful glitter. Okay, so let's just make sure everything is nice and even. laying down. Remember this is just our stencil. <clears throat> okay, so next I'm going to put hashtag boy mom. So let me just get that onto the stencil paper. Alright, so the stencil is laid down. I have boy mom here, hashtag. <clears throat> And then we have a couple of scars. We have the claw marks, I should say. We have the little trail here. And then another claw mark here. So now first we're going to go ahead and spray paint it with the dark color. Now I don't have black spray paint, <clears throat> I don't think. Um, so I'm just going to do it with a dark gray that I have. And then once that dries, we'll spray paint it with white over the top. So I will be back once we've done those steps.
All right, so I went ahead and peeled off the decal. Looks pretty good. So now the next step is making the, um, I guess, I don't know, smudge marks. So we're gonna go ahead and get some alcohol and I'm gonna try it out with cotton balls first to see. All right, so I'm gonna do the last step, <clears throat> excuse me. And that is to make the um, smudge marks, I guess. So we're gonna try it with cotton balls and I'm just gonna get my alcohol and just wipe away. And this part is going to show where we spray painted that first layer of dark gray. So let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna do it somewhere away from other things right now, just to try it. Okay, this is 99% alcohol, so this should be working. Okay, there we go. Just had to get it a little soft. Scratch through some layers. So this part, you can pretty much just um, do it however you want. This is just freestyling now. You can kind of see that gray layer there. So it's creating a, you know, a little bit of texture. So for now, I might just leave that spot as is and then move on and do some other spots. I might come back to that one area, but My kid is in the background talking to Alexa right now. And I think he's getting mad at her. Okay, let's see. I don't want to do too much of these things. Um, but I want to do enough so you can see the cute glitter underneath. I don't want all of it to go to waste from being covered up. Okay, it's turning out pretty good. All right, so the last thing we had to do was throw the epoxy on there. So I'm just going to let that spin. And then I will insert a picture once it's completely finished and cured so you could see the final project. But I think it came out pretty darn good for my first try. Just let me know in the comments if you have tried this.